All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to class. This hour, we are going to be talking about uh, junk food and uh, vending machines in uh, in school. Okay. Uh, so the uh, the link to the class is uh, is right here. Okay. Go ahead and uh, and open that up. I'll put it in the uh, Google chat for you as well. Okay, so yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be uh, um, going over some vocabulary words, um, discussing um, uh, or reading through a uh, a short article, and then uh, discussing what we think, what uh, what our opinion is about uh, um, this type of food and things like that in uh, uh, in schools. Okay, so that's uh, that's the main uh, the main goal for for this hour. Let's see who we have in class. Hi, right, everybody. Hi there, Anastasia. How are you? Oh, hi, I'm fine. Thank you. How about Very you? Very good. I'm doing you great. Have, you have a, a new haircut? I did. Yes, I got my yeah. haircut because my hair was too long. Looks it was great. it was falling over my ears and whatnot. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to Daniela. Hi. Nice to meet hi you. Hi there. Again. Nice to have you back. All right, and Giovanni, how are you? Hi, amazing teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you again. <laughs> yes, and uh, are you tired because you uh, you had three lessons, I suppose? I, I had what? Three lessons. I had. I did have. Uh, I taught. I'm teaching three lessons this morning, but. Um, I, uh, I I taught a lesson right before um, right before uh, I started here, and it went uh, uh, went a little over. Then I tried to start up Hangouts with uh, with uh, Verbling, and it wasn't starting up for me. So I'm like, this morning I'm constantly like ten ten minutes late on all of my classes. So okay. and I've been I've been trying to go over by a little bit to try and make up for it. But yeah, that's why. <laughs> but, okay. Anyway. I, I'm, wor I'm worried about your health, and uh, because uh, okay, facing uh, uh, a lesson uh, it, it's, uh, it's somewhat uh, hard for uh, for any teacher, I suppose. So, uh, so I, I'm wondering uh, about uh, about your health, about your uh, <laughs> because I think it, it would be tough for for every teacher. So. Uh, oh. Well, it it can be. It just depends on um, it depends on um, if the how long they've been teaching for. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of the uh, a lot of the lessons that I have, I've uh, I've taught before in uh, at previous times. Um, so it's uh, going going over them again since I've already uh, since I've already done it. It's not as difficult as when you first start up and you have to read through and know exactly what you're going to say, and and things like that. Um, so yeah, ju it's just a just a little bit uh, just a little bit different. Okay. But, yeah. Very good. Uh, let's see, Dennis. Welcome back to class. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm Great. Uh, good. Good. Uh, let's go to uh, Ubert. How are you? Fine. I do. Awesome, doing great. And let's see, Juan, how you doing? Uh, very good, and you, Chad? I'm doing great. It's a nice sunny day outside. Yeah. I just had to look up and look up at the sky, and I was like, "Yeah, it's nice outside today." <laughs> yeah, it looks like December time here. I know. Yeah. I know. Very, very nice. Okay, you guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, and get started. Go ahead and open up your your link. Let me just switch over. Here. All right. Okay. So let's start off with uh, with some vocabulary words. And so we're going to scroll down to uh, page number two. All right. And we've got thirteen words here. Okay. Let's start off with uh, with Anastasia. Mm -hmm. um, please read number one and uh, tell me what you believe the uh, the uh, word means or match it with the correct the correct meaning on the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Snack. A snack uh, is e a light meal. 
Okay, good. A light meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Okay, number uh, number two. Okay, number two is for Daniela. Advertising campaign uh, is uh, E, series of activities for selling something. Um, yes, a, se a series of activities for selling something, definitely. Okay, and uh, companies that, uh, yeah, and it's usually companies that do advertising campaigns um, because they're the ones that are, are looking to profit from that. Okay, so an advertising campaign. Okay, usually it comes in the form of commercials, um, uh, commercials on TV. You may also see uh, billboards, okay, billboards uh, along the roads. Okay, something to get their name out. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Dennis. Dennis, this is uh, number number three, please. Uh, encourage someone. It's um, uh, uh, last one. M. Give hope or confidence. Support someone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hope, confidence, support. Okay. Um, in in doing something. Okay. And you can you can encourage someone um, in the wrong way or in the bad way. Or sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was the same thing. Uh, in the wrong way or in the good way. Okay. So, uh, but typically, uh, encouragement usually means that you are uh, you are wanting them to do good. You're wanting them to do better. Right. Um, number four. Uh, this is for uh, Giovanni. Restrict and uh, is letter F, leave it. Chat okay, reader. so, yep, I'm here. Um, yeah. Number four, limit and uh, yeah. restrict. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right, let's go to number five. This is for Juan. Juan, go ahead and read number five. Okay, um, let's go to Anastasia, oh, number five. Oh, there you are. Uh, so, sorry if I muted you um, using the, the Hangouts on the phone, so it's a different <laughs> interface. I wasn't okay. muting myself. And I, by mistake, unmuted you. Eh, muted yeah. you. Uh, I'm really That's fine. I, I, f I figured. I figured as much. No worries, man. Yeah. Okay. Number, number five. Ignore. That is not pay attention to. Okay. Yeah. To ignore someone, not pay attention. All right. Um. Let's go to Ignored number. Someone. What's that? To mute someone. Yeah, to mute someone, <laughs> to ignore them. Um, <laughs> By number, <mistake. laughs> number six, this is for Anastasia. Uh -huh. A bees, uh, very fat, B. Yeah, so that would be O, obese, instead of obese, O, uh -huh. obese. <laughs> obese. Good, good. Let's go to uh, number seven, this is for uh, Batuam. Very fat. Um, number seven. Seven. Yep. Uh, decay. Decay. Uh, the stress would go at the end of the word decay. All right. And now, what would be the definition of number seven? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's talk about um, muscle decay, okay, um, or uh, tooth decay. If you eat a lot of of sugary things and you do not brush your teeth, or even if you do brush your teeth, uh, your teeth mm -hmm. may start to decay. All right, and uh, get in a worse condition than they were before. What would that match to? What do you think? Um, 
I don't know. All right, check out uh, K. K, get in bad condition. Yeah, to get in a bad condition. Okay, that would be uh, that would be decay. All right, and um, like I said, muscles can decay. Okay, it's also called atrophy. All right, where you're not using your muscles and they and they decay, they they become they get into that uh, bad condition. Your teeth can decay. All right. Um, also, um, we we can use the word with um, like um, like stone or um, metal. You know, something else that that uh, can decay. All right, it gets into a bad condition. It's not only uh, parts of your body. Okay. Um, number number eight. This is for Daniela. And uh, Butuam, I I'm going to I'm going to mute you. You have a slapping sound that that keeps coming in. So I'll mute you until until you are ready uh, until it's your turn again. Okay. Okay, Daniela. Yes, can you hear me? Yep, number eight, please. Okay, budget. Uh, yeah, budget. The is the letter L a plan of income and spending? Okay, good. Yeah, so budget. That means that if you have two thousand dollars that uh, that are coming in a month. All right, that you uh, you plan out what's going to happen with that money, so that you do not overspend. Okay, you don't overspend what you are what you are making. Okay. Um, good. How about number nine? Okay, number nine is for Dennis. Uh, found it. Mm -hmm. it is for. Um, Uh, paid for the uh, yeah paid good for. paid for okay so um, sometimes um, you'll uh, you'll be maybe uh, watching uh, watching a TV program or or uh, you'll watch something on YouTube and at the end uh, you may see something like funded by Okay, yeah. funded by that would be uh, that would mean that uh, someone gave that person money to be able to make that commercial or to make that YouTube video to be supported. Okay. Uh, yeah, to be supported financially. That is, yeah, to be supported financially. Okay. Okay. Uh, good. Let's go to uh, Giovanni and number nine. Oh, sorry, number ten. Uh, nutritious. 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 Nut Nutritious. Okay, okay, one more time. Nutritious. Nutritious. There you go. Okay. 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 Good for health. Has improved. All right. Yeah. Good for health. Something that is nutritious. All right. Yes. Nutritious. Okay. okay. There you go. All right. Okay. Um, let's go to number eleven. This is for Juan. Corporation would be a company. Yeah. Yep, very easy. A company. Okay, number 12. And this is uh, for Anastasia. Uh -huh. Risk. Uh, well, um, just. Uh, okay. Danger. Danger. Okay, so Batuan, um, when you type like that, it sounds like elephants are running through my head. Okay, so uh, keep your microphone muted uh, if you're typing. Uh, or it looks like you typed and ran away. All right, um, so mm -hmm. risk. Uh, is risk danger. is danger. Yeah. Danger, yeah. Okay, um, something uh, we may call something risky. Mm-hmm. Okay, risky. Um, if something dangerous. Yes. Okay, so meaning the same type of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and number 13 is for Daniela. Uh, Oppos uh, is H, be against, not support or agree with. Yeah, so be against. 
Okay, be against, not support or agree with. Okay, good. All right, you guys, any questions about our vocabulary words here? No. Crystal clear. All right. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's scroll up to our article and uh, we'll uh, read through this. Uh, let's start off with Dennis. And Dennis, please read the, uh, the first paragraph. <clears throat> uh, okay, one sec. Okay, uh, over the last 15 years, many high schools and middle schools in the United States have allowed snack foods, such as soft drinks, candy, and potato chips to be sold in vending machines in their buildings. Expensive advertising campaigns paid for by the makers of these products have encouraged students to snack on junk food instead of healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables. All right, very good. Let's go to uh, Giovanni. Please read the next yes. paragraph. As a result, many students eat junk food for lunch and during the day. Federal and state rules that restrict uh, vending machine products from being sold at the lunchtime are simply ignored. Okay, and that word is ignored. Ignore, sorry. Good. All right, uh, Juan, please read the next paragraph. The students who eat junk food every day are likely to become obese or to suffer from tooth decay. As adults, they may develop serious diseases like diabetes, which add to the country's health care costs. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to Anastasia. Mm -hmm. uh, next paragraph, please. Uh -huh. Yet yeah, schools continue to make junk food easily available to students. Uh, they do this uh, because this government-funded budgets only cover basic school services. The money they receive from junk food manufacturers can add uh, $5,000 or more to their budget each year. Schools that allow only one particular brand of soft drink, such as Coke, uh, to be sold in vending machines can make much more money. Uh, this money is used to pay for the things like computer equipment, field trips, special activities, and machining bands. Okay, and uh, so two things. Uh, this would be marching, uh -huh. marching bands. Uh huh, marching bands. And then fifty thousand instead of five thousand, fifty thousand. Okay, uh huh, fifty thousand. Okay, good. All mm -hmm. right, let's uh, let's see here, uh, Daniela. Let me have you read um, this uh, this line here, and then uh, I'll have you do about half of this uh, uh, this next one. So uh, down to. Uh, risk of junk food, and then uh, um, Dennis, I'll have you finish off the rest here. Okay, go ahead. The more junk food students buy from the vending machines, the more money the school make. Since 2001, many USA lawmakers, parents groups, and communities have tried to change this situation. They believe the school should sell nothing but nutritious food at lunchtime. They also believe that corporations should not be offering schools large sums of money to ignore the health risk of junk food. Todd? Okay, Dennis, um, please continue. However, many schools have opposed their actions because they don't want to lose to lose the money from make uh, they make from junk food sales. Many people believe that instead of being safe places, schools today are unhealthy places for students. Very good. Okay, you guys, let's uh, let's go through and uh, discuss this. So, and, uh, Giovanni. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. I have a question. What kind of uh, advertising campaign for student for students? Um, what is it? An advertising an advertising campaign for students. So yeah. uh, putting up ads, uh, putting up ads in uh, in school. Okay. Um, a lot of a lot of times, um, schools sell advertising to make extra money. So putting it in their school newspapers. 
Okay. So uh, they, they do that. They, uh, they sell advertising around like the football fields. Okay. Just like when you, if you were to watch a soccer game. Okay. Uh, like I remember I was watching, I was watching the uh, Confederation Cup or something like that. I can't remember um, on Sunday. And uh, what was it? I think it was Visa. If you look around the whole side of the the ring for or the uh, the field, okay, there in Brazil, one of them has Visa, 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 all the way around. Okay. Well, they do similar things like that in uh, in schools in the United States uh, to make uh, extra money. Okay, so the uh, these corporations buy advertising like Coke or whatnot, and they put their signs and whatnot, and they uh, they do things like that. Uh, so those those are the type of of advertising campaigns they have. Is it not prohibited to to put ads at schools? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's no. not prohibited mm -mm. for for ever everything, or just for food. Um. Uh, I think it's if, – if, if you – and see, it's a very fine line that you have to walk. Um, if you are how, – how do they describe it? If you, if you are influencing someone politically, uh, religiously, or – uh, it, it's some other way of like changing their life or something like that. Um, that would be against against the governmental rules, but they've kind of figured this workaround with this type of stuff um, to sell advertising that way. A lot of times, it's for um, the local communities. All right, so maybe there's a uh, a roofing company that wants to support. Uh, a football team or something like that. They would buy advertising and then and then do that. But yeah, no, they they uh, they uh, still do advertising from from what I know of. I know they did it when I was when I was in high school and junior high. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, not not prohibited. Okay, so let's uh, let's get your opinions, you guys. Uh, starting off with uh, Giovanni. Giovanni, you. what what is your opinion about this article? What do you think here? Okay, uh, this is a very interesting article because I think that food is fundamental for uh, our life. So we have mm -hmm. to we have to um, be careful about uh, our um, our eating. And I think that even at school we have to learn how to eat how to eat healthier. So I completely disagree. Uh, uh, about this, this, um, uh, about this, this issue, uh, about this, uh, this problem, and because uh, school should be uh, should have as a prerogative to teach people how to not only how to study, uh, how to um, uh, okay. Uh, to to uh, to provide us with with uh, fundamental tools for our life, but even uh, schools they um, schools have to teach us how to eat healthier. Uh, okay. uh, can I can I can I can I make a comparison? Because in Italy we are very careful about uh, our, about our food, and uh, in my eldest son's school. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one day a week, okay, they offer such fruit as peaches, apples, carrots, uh, uh, and a lot of uh, a lot of fruit, because they want to, uh, okay, they want to focus uh, our attention on the. Um, on the on the um, on the children's on the children um, uh, uh, on the health. children uh, e health, health. So uh, it, Italy is the land of Mediterranean diet, you know, and uh, uh, it sounds strange if they uh, put 
some vending vendor machine in uh, in our school. It's it's totally uh, um, against our culture in a way. And, okay. Uh, that's why uh, this is my point. Okay. Um, yeah. Now the uh, uh, one thing that I that I would be careful with is the word focus. Okay, mm -hmm. because it uh, it could come out like saying "fuck us," mm -hmm. all right, which which would be um, a curse word, and then you're wanting them to do it to all of us here. Okay, mm -hmm. so make yeah. make sure when you pronounce that word, you are using an O sound. Fo focus. Fo focus. Focus. Okay, because uh, because if <laughs> it, I mean it could be very comical. Uh, as well, because if you are if you are being very serious, all right, and let's say you're talking with the with uh, some people, and you're being very serious, and you say, "I want you guys to fuck us right now," okay, and okay. if you say something like that, it would come out as sort of a joke, and they'd be like, "What? What did you say?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So make make sure um, now I'm turning red. Uh, make sure that uh, that uh, that you pronounce that O when you say the word. Focus. Okay, it's the same. It's the same as the word fault. Am I right? Um, that fault. would be that would be fucked. Okay, that has an fault. uh sound. Fa. Okay, with uh, fo. Yeah, with fo. fo you want to make sure you pronounce that uh that O sound. Fo. Focus. 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 That's it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Focus. If not, you may get yourself into trouble. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah but focus. Uh, okay. This is my uh, my usual uh, question to to my girls. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I no, no I was I was joking. <laughs> I have just a, I have just a nasty mother-in-law. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, Juan. Juan, how about you? What uh, What do you think about this uh, this issue? Well, it's uh, it's difficult because uh, I also agree that um, nutrition, um, in special uh, those ages, is uh, very important uh, for physical and uh, mental development of the of the person. And uh, well, uh, there's a there's no there no um, going. Around uh, to try to to say that uh, junk food has any, if at all, um, nutritional value. But uh, I didn't knew this, and now that I know it, uh, I can understand why uh, they allow those um, vending machines uh, because it's it's difficult also for the for the school to. Uh, if they are not getting the money from the local entity, uh, they have to, to look at other way because it is in benefit of the of the students. Um, so it's it's uh, like you said, it's a, a thin line. Um, but uh, however, uh, personally, I would opt to ban them. From the school, I don't know if, if uh, principals are allowed to to do that in their in their school. Just to mm -hmm. say, uh, well, I, I will opt not to to use them. And yeah, look, uh, they they have the option. Oh, they have, yeah. So what I would try to do is uh, uh, obtain the money in uh, different ways. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, doing um, community uh, activities like. Uh, um, raffles or um, well, yeah, and they <laughs> they, they do a, they do a lot of raffles and things like that here, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, it, it uh, it's um, it they they do have the option to choo choose choose uh, to do so um, to not have those vending machines and whatnot, um, but. You know, just like in in most places, there's corruption mm -hmm. in uh, in schools, and so though they say that they get, you know, X amount of dollars for uh, for doing this in the school, it may not make it to the right hands to be able to do so. Yeah, and I so, understand. 
that's a that's a lot of uh, a lot of the issues. Yeah, okay. They they recently did uh, something similar here. They banned completely uh, the permits for selling junk food in in schools. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I don't know if if here I I think they don't um, they don't uh, add any value to the budget of the school. Uh, those uh, the the ones who sell in the junk food in the mm -hmm. in the school, but it was a a really big issue because kids are are all they're accustomed or used to to eating that food that changing to to normal or healthy food is is very difficult. So so they 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 refuse to. So I I read that parents are are promoting. I don't know, maybe because it is easier and they don't care a lot to, about the, the nutrition. Just I, to, I, to I think that's the, what it is. Yeah, they, they, they just give them the money to, to go and buy it somewhere else or just to take it in your lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Noel, uh, Noel's. Noel's, can you hear me okay? Okay, let's go to Anastasia. What's uh, what's mm -hmm. your opinion? Well, actually, I think it's not so cool because I also grew with. Uh, it's not very safe place uh, where mm -hmm. children uh, eat junk food. You know, uh, Jimmy Oliver. He's a chief, a British chief, a cook. Uh, oh, a famous. British chef, 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 chef. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he's have a program about like food revolution yeah. and he went to America and they all just prepare food from semi-finish goods you know semi-finish meals mm -hmm. you call it like that uh, and uh, which is not good because uh, the people can prepare food uh, fresh I mean uh, fresh food uh, mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, but uh, the, those vending machines, it's like just business, just to mm -hmm. make more money, but they just do not uh, care about uh, children's health, because, you know, children, they when they're just small, they don't understand uh, that it's bad for their health, and I think adults should care about their parents should care about uh, that problem and also maybe write some um, some stuff to to bend that thing okay so I, like that okay all right very good uh, thank you very much uh, let's go to Daniela Daniela what is your opinion um, I completely with the I am completely agree with the, the other's uh, point of view I'm uh, against with this kind of management uh, about school. And I have a question, um, Chad. In, um, sure, sure. in, uh, in American school, uh, are there um, any uh, dining hall or something like that when uh, the student uh, uh, should eat? Uh, should, where they eat? Yeah, every, uh, every school has a cafeteria. Um, yes. But what the problem is is that the uh, the food, the food that they uh, that they make and and serve in those places are are very uh, it's like quick, uh, okay. it, quick and and easy food and and things like that. It's not not very uh, healthy. Now personally, um, well I'll, I'll share I'll share my opinion on the whole thing when, once I get uh, once we get uh, through everybody. But yeah, we do have a place a place to eat. But the food there is is not very good. Uh huh. Okay. But um, uh, you have to pay uh, for public school of some tasks or something like that. How, how can you pay? Um, uh, it depends on the uh, on the income of the family. If uh, mm -hmm. if the family does not make a lot of income you, uh, or a lot of money, uh, usually the meal is going to be free for them. So they offer like a free breakfast and a free lunch, mm -hmm. um, um, and and then uh, for those. Um, who aren't on like that that assisted plan um, lunch? I think from what I remember 
it was like a, a dollar or two dollars. It was something very, very low. It wasn't uh, very expensive at all. Uh -huh. But the problem is the quality of food. Yes, it's the quality. That's the, that's the main issue, the quality of food. Okay. okay. Um, but let's go to Dennis. Dennis, what, uh, what's your opinion? Uh, well, Chad, um, everybody, everybody here is disagree with this, uh, uh, with this companies. So we don't have a discussion, and I'll try to, uh, yeah, I'll try to be disagree with other speakers here, and I, I'll try to defend America. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just uh, I'm just thinking. All nations have uh, I don't know. Um, all nations have uh, some kind of uh, particular particular. Features. Can I say in this way, Chad? Um, what do you mean by partic particular features? I don't know. Just, just something. And among others, uh, national cuisine. Yeah, national food. Okay. And uh, what is uh, American national food? And what is American national cuisine? What should uh, these food companies sell to people? Uh, national American food is. Uh, is a uh, hamburgers, is a hot okay. dogs, mm -hmm. and uh, these food companies just uh, sell for American people American food. It's quite logic, quite. I don't know. I think logical, quite logical. Quite, quite logical, yeah. And what should they do? Uh, or what else? What else should they do? Yeah. Is that what you mean? So what else? What else can they do if they're if they're selling uh, selling what people uh, want to eat? What the typical food is? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. In interesting. interesting point. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, Badim. Badim, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Now, Badim, we are we're talking about. Um, uh, food, uh, junk food, and whatnot in uh, in the schools. Uh, have you been following along at, at all, or uh, are you just joining in the class right now? Yes, I'm joining right now in the class. I just oh. switch it on my computer. Yeah. Okay. No all right. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we're talking about. Um, in uh, in the United States, uh, there are a lot of, and not only in the United States. You guys, th th this happens. Uh, uh, I've been uh, through many, uh, um, many different countries here in Central and South America, and I've seen this exact same thing happen, uh, where you have junk food and whatnot uh, served in uh, in in schools and uh, vending machines as well. So, what do you think about vending machines and uh, junk food served uh, or the availability of them at school, Vadim? <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you that I I finished my school long time ago, okay. know, 30, 30 years ago, and I know about this problem now because uh, I read article in newspaper and different kind of magazines. That's why I <laughs> yes I have kind of information about it, especially in the United States. Uh, a lot of people suffered from uh, additional weight. Uh, yes, as, as for school, as for school around the world, it's a really big problem because children in that school really often buy some kind of junk food, you know, like uh, Coca-Cola or some kind of sandwiches and so on. It's so <laughs> harmful, so harmful, especially for children's health. Because as for me, as for my experience from uh, from my school, from my uh, years in in school, uh, we uh, we were fed just health food. I mean, first dish, second dish, and uh, dessert. 
It's just mm -hmm. like soup. For example, gar garnish with catlet or with sandwich and so on, and the uh, juice or milk, maybe someone else. Well, okay. And now I think it's a big problem, big problem for kids' health. Okay. Um, and and what uh, what country are you from, Vadim? I'm from Ukraine. I live in Kiev. Okay. Okay. Ukraine. All right. Very good. Thank you. Now, um, I, I see uh, I, I see the problem in uh, um, in, in two ways. Uh, I I agree with both uh, both what uh, Dennis said. Okay, and then uh, what uh, what some of you have said as well. So, um, in the United States, you have uh, you have companies that are, are able to uh, market, and uh, if there's a a market for for what they're selling, people will buy it, and uh, at, you know the free market system. So, if people are going to buy it, then the company survives. If they don't buy it, then the companies don't survive. So, um, there is there is that atmosphere um, which is uh, inherent. In the United States, um, and which is why there's there's been uh, um, so much success there, because we let the free market weed out those um, that are successful and those who are not. But, okay, um, on the other hand, um, I don't think it's a problem for the children. I think it's a problem with the parents. I know when I went to school, I didn't have money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have money. I mean, yeah. did I have a job? Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had I had I no had, money. I what was I job. What I was I going to do? Okay. So, uh my mom, she made me she made me a sandwich. Okay? I usually mm -hmm. had a sandwich, uh either carrots or um carrots or uh, uh cucumbers. Okay? And then uh, usually like a juice box and maybe a cookie or something. Okay? Um, but that was that was my lunch. That's uh, that's what I did uh, when I got older and I could drive. Uh, I drove home and I ate food at home and then I drove back. Okay, um, uh, I I rarely ever ate food at uh, at uh, school. Okay, maybe every once in a uh -huh. while if we had maybe a party or something like that. But I I hardly ever ate food at school. Um, now. The, the other side of that, okay, is like I, I had mentioned before, um, it's a governmental issue, okay, it's the same thing. So you've got the parents who are giving money to their kids to go, you know, and then they don't really care what they're buying, all right, and they go buy this stuff, right? So it's the lack of lack of parenting. And then it, it on the same line, it's the lack of, of governmental parenting, okay, because uh, you have these kids that uh, where their families don't make a lot of money, and I'm I'm all for for helping uh, helping people out if they they don't have have food right especially for for the kids and so they would come to school and they would have breakfast and uh, and they would have lunch fabulous that's great but Can the I government get... is purchasing the crap food to give to the kids all right so and it may be cheaper or it may be something but it's a problem that starts with with them and so they it, it, they then grow up thinking well this is the food that I've always eaten all right so mm -hmm. now okay now as they're older they may have better jobs but they still eat crap food and so they have their kids eat crap food and it's this huge cycle that goes around and around and around it's terrible uh, uh yes what were you going to say Giovanni Yes, can, uh, can I say something? Because I have to go, I have to, to buy some fruit. <laughs> because, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I have to go to the grocery, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I would like to, I would like to say that uh, junk food causes uh, obesity. Obesity is one of the modern plagues. And uh, if you think about America, if you think about the United States, I think... Uh, people who uh, are fat people, and uh, I think that you have to solve these problems because it's a, it's a real problem for you, and uh, not for you because you are in sh in a good shape. And uh, I <laughs> I I think that you should adopt uh, another diet for you mm -hmm. because uh, okay, your food is unhealthy and. Uh, I, I think that 
you have to start from school because school, like I said before, should uh, should teach you how to eat properly. So uh, how to how to eat eat take off the H from the front of the the word eat. How to eat properly? Eat properly. Yes, because it, uh, I think that eating is important for everybody's life. So uh, please come in Italy and adopt our Mediterranean diet, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Thank I, you. I have to. Uh, sorry, I have to go now because, uh, like I said, I have to buy something to eat. It's fruit. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> No worries. Bye. Right, it, was we'll a, it was a pleasure for me. You are well, amazing. I do like your topics. Great. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Bye. Very good. All right. Let's go to let's go to Juan and uh, let's check out a question here, Juan. Um, why do you think so many children are obese today? Uh, what can parents and society do to prevent children from from becoming obese? What do you think, Juan? Uh, they can teach them by by showing uh, with example on how to on what is uh, healthy foods and helping them prepare the the meals the healthy meals for them mm -hmm. to to take uh, to the school and 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 promote uh, healthy lifestyles. I know I know that it is very difficult to to control a kid or or, or discipline like mm -hmm. just by by magic saying no don't do that and he or she won't is not that easy, mm -hmm. but uh, you can do the the effort because also I, I uh, I'm aware that uh, now uh, every day often kids uh, prefer just to to play games, video games, and mm -hmm. uh, sedentary life at at home after school. But great vocabulary word, sedentary life. Awesome, good job. <laughs> Thanks. So. Um, but, but I don't know. If, if I were a parent, I, I would say, well, maybe you would like to, to play some football or run or try mm -hmm. some sport. And uh, because people who like who do sports and like sport, they they already have it in their um, in their self or their, their in their genes. They, mm -hmm. If you like something, you already have it from when you're born. So okay. you can help them explore and, and exploit uh, those uh, those activities. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Um, let's go to Anastasia. And mm -hmm. Anastasia, number two, um, how have the schools changed in the past 40, 40 or 50 years? Uh, do you think it is the responsibility of public schools to provide extracurricular activities to students, or should this be the parents' responsibilities? Oh, well, the responsibility actually, of parents, sorry. Yeah, well, uh, good question. Actually, in Soviet time, uh, it was a responsibility mostly to do like extra activity, extra circular activities for students uh, by government. So public mm -hmm. schools uh, have uh, free uh, sections, like uh, extra... Uh, activities, for example, dancing classes, maybe some sports, uh, or just maybe uh, some uh, handmade uh, activities like uh, for children. But nowadays, <laughs> uh, usually in public schools here in Kazakhstan, we don't have such as uh, things, mm -hmm. and parents should pay uh, for their uh, children. Uh, at the same time, uh, not all the parents can allow to pay uh, for children mm -hmm. that they just can go to extra to extra circular activities and I think uh, it should be uh, for public schools okay. it's the resp responsibility uh, like for everyone for free but if uh, parents uh, don't like it uh, and they have opportunities they just can pay and go um, for better uh, teacher or just uh, uh, to join this extra activities for example to, to pay do you understand what I mean okay yeah yeah I do something like that I think uh, first of all it's responsibility for public uh, of public schools yes 
Okay. All right. All right. No problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to Daniela. Yeah. And Daniela, number three, do you think public school budgets should include funding for sports programs, music, arts, field trips, etc., or should they just cover basic educational services? Um, no, I prefer uh, uh, that schools uh, uh, should uh, uh, buy some uh, uh, sport uh, uh, or music activities because um, uh, this kind of activities are uh, usually most uh, uh, interesting and uh, uh, for children uh, most uh, uh, and, they, and also they are um, uh, more educational uh, educational is uh, is correct to use this now this uh, adjective um, i don't know exactly yes yes uh, educational would be fine uh -huh. yes um, uh, because uh, often uh, um, in the school uh, there aren't uh, a lot of uh, uh, beautiful activities uh, uh, and children are um, uh, boring about uh, uh, the usual activities um, but uh, um, maybe, uh, I don't know in USA, but in Italy there aren't the, the funds about this uh, for these activities and often uh, um, the, um, the children and, and the parents uh, have to pay more for uh, additional activities. Uh, the, uh, this kind of activities in Italy is, uh, are, um, are not uh, free, but uh, you have to pay a lot. Uh, and uh, even for uh, for food, because uh, uh, when um, the parent uh, uh, work uh, both, uh, they don't pay attention. Don't, they don't pay careful uh, about uh, your their children a lot. So um, they don't they don't pay careful attention. They don't pay careful attention about uh, their children. So often, um, children are alone inside the school, inside these programs. Uh, they haven't uh, um, a, a, a guide, uh, something to drive them. Somebody okay. to drive them. Okay, all right, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's go to number four. This is for Dennis, and this will be our last question for the hour. Go ahead, Dennis. Uh, this says, uh, do you think that public schools should ask more big corporations to provide funding for the schools in exchange for endorsing or supporting their products? Explain your answer. No, of, of course they should, but I don't know. I'm not sure about the results. Uh, I don't know, Chad, if to speak in general, just to speak in general about, all, about this topic, I think just Parents should teach teach the uh, teach their children. Uh, a good taste. I hope you're all having a great day today. A My good, name is Lauren, and uh, I'm sorry. Uh, to to teach uh, their children a good taste, a good taste in general. Mm -hmm. uh, to consider food to I know, to value. Uh, cuisine, to follow food, uh, not to eat on the go because it's just it's just inappropriate. It's not even unhealthy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's it seems strange. You should have a you should have a meal. Yeah, uh, you should have a national cuisine. You should consider. Uh, cooking as an art, for example, even. Okay. To, to have to have taste in food. All right. If if it's possible to say in this way. Sure, no problem, no problem. Okay, you guys. Uh, very good. Yes. Well, we are uh, out of out of time for this hour. Thank, Thank you guys for coming so much. Uh, Lauren has uh, has a couple classes right now and then I'll be back uh, for my afternoon classes okay you guys mm -hmm. all right thank you take care take care we'll see you bye, bye.